Hello everyone, my name is Fungusen and welcome back to this Imperatorum Purple Phoenix campaign. So I was looking through the mission between the episodes here and I noticed that uh, finishing this mission tree means we will change into the Hellenic League. And I mean, looking at the buffs over there, they are amazing, but this is... Uh, Byzantine, but with, with the Eastern Roman Empire. <laughs> I don't want to do that, so... Uh, the question is whether it's worth going through and getting all the other things done here. Um, this is a very nice one, you know, uh, permanent pop assimilation speed. It's pretty nice, along with... Um, local citizen happiness, etc, etc. So... These say as temporary buffs. Yeah, temporary, temporary. I don't know. Um, I mean, this is obviously pretty good. I think we'll keep on it for now, uh, but we're definitely not going to finish it. And by saying definitely, I mean I'm definitely going to forget to click that button. Or, well, you know, not, not, to, not to click the button, rather. Anyways, uh, let's march these guys up here uh, and watch as this guy spectacularly falls into chaos. And in the meantime, um, yeah. So unless something drastically changes, he is going to be enveloped in a glorious civil war in two months. And he's also dismissed all of his troops now, apparently, so... Yeah, good luck. Oh, come on, who's sleeping with who again now? Um, you were sleeping with who? By me. Well, if it's my husband, then how, how can this... <laughs> um, I think they need to check out this, this event, because... Uh, Clearly this is kind of, you know, our business, considering it's us. This is none of our business. Ah, uh, well, I can gain loyalty. I'm, uh, yeah. Uh, clearly some bugs in that event. Oh, come on. Right, let's watch the chaos unfold. One month. And yeah, we can assign you to the region and yeah, you can be independent. There you go. Enjoy. Come on then. Implode for me. There. Ah, well, that's kind of pathetic. You have 20k troops though. He has no troops. So yeah. Uh, fun times. So what we could do here, and it is incredibly tempting to do it, is to declare war on this guy. Oh look, look who's going to come in then. Um, so I definitely think we're going to do that. Uh, we will wait for this mission to finish though. Uh, just to have a look. So we're gaining 40 odd ducats a month now, which is pretty good. There are probably some forts we can get rid of, like this area here. I don't see any reason to keeping this fort for sure. Um, and this ludicrous fortiness is obviously not, you know, relevant either. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm guessing it keeps everyone very, very, um, what's the word, uh, loyal, but I, we don't need to fortify every single coastal province. Okay, that's a bit better. Right, so you have decided now, even though you're clearly at charge with, you know, conquering or crushing all the pirates, is that no, no, th this is not something we're going to be bothering with. Well, guess what? You are. All non-oligarchic republics in Greece gain 25 opinion. There is a small chance that Hellenistic nations in Greece may be persuaded to change government or become a tributary in the future. So...
These are not mutually exclusive. That's 60 days. Okay, let's check this one out. And yeah, you go back to, you know, pretending that you're protecting us against pirates. Yeah. Definitely pretending. Okay, so let's see what happens once this one finishes then. If we do get some additional subjects, that would be glorious. At the moment we do have uh, Ellis is a subject. You're a subject. You're our ally. Like you, for instance. Would you want to be our uh, subject? Doesn't look like it. Our diplomatic efforts are over, with our most charismatic delegates being dispatched across Greece. The arguments of Putits fell on deaf ears. It seems the other Greeks do not trust their intentions. Well, uh, yeah. So this is going to give us claims on pretty much everyone so let's go and have a look and see what happens after that also um, when is our why can I never find oh here it is of course divine sacrifices runs out in November next year okay so how are you doing well you do have 14k troops now but I'm going to assume you're not doing very well also, you are a disgrace to everyone involved. Well, I guess your expansion is dropping quite quickly at least, so there is that. Who are you? That's you again. You're always disloyal. Didn't I give you a job? Yeah. Well, stop whining then. Okay, what are we missing? Marble. We can't get marble. That is... Uh, no, precious metals, which we can't get either. Um, Anything else we'd want in the capital? I mean, we would want elephants, but there's no one who wants to give us elephants. We already have you. We have you. I mean, wild game. Uh... Ah, dates, definitely want. And I'm kind of thinking we want more aqueducts. Bigger the better. Okay then, so this is about to finish. Uh, we will break them, indeed. Her biting words have stirred the populace with a belief that in the need for the liberation of all Greeks and the destruction of the tyranny and inequality among citizens. Indeed, we will definitely break them. Okay. We need at least one Hellenistic tributary with non-oligarchic republic. Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, probably don't need to that. So we need to conquer all of Greece. Should be reasonably easy. So the thing is now then, we can just declare war on you. Megalopolis does not want to come in because you have very low manpower. However, Oh, you're actually rebelling against them at the moment. I mean... Yeah. Well, tough. So, let's see then. Uh, we are at war with the Antigonids again, which is great for everyone involved. Uh, you won't be able to do much, so we do have two armies up here. He barely got any troops. Uh, let's just check here. 
We're not at war with Aeolia or Ionia. Um, we are at war with Rhodes though, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, so before anything else happens, let's go grab that. And you, my friend, well, I guess you can try and siege down these cities again, but somehow I don't think they want to be sieged down. Speaking of things, I should probably have started fabricating a claim on them straight away. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Okay, we do however need to swap in our new glorious leader. There we go, sorted and... Um, I think we'll keep trying to keep this party happy. Ah, nice. Actually did still have some money in there. Well, let's keep going then. Nice, and you're sieging down things as well. Fantastic. So troop-wise here... It's not looking very good, is it? <laughs> okay, we are at war with... Who? Who are you? Are oh, you? Okay, that's fine. I suspect we have claims on you. We do indeed. Well... Oh, come on. Oh, we'll look at that afterwards. Too much effort at the moment. Need to make money. 45 ducats a month is decent. Okay. That one has been sorted as well. Let's just go for that capital up there then. Well, that's less than ideal. Um... Now the thing is, we can piece out Byzantion, no not Byzantion, uh, the Antigonids separately. I, I don't care about them. Um, which might be something we do want to do. Right. In fact, let's just... Ah! Let's just do that. <clears throat> I think we'll be fine. Okay, you should... Yeah, you decided to change. That's good. <clears throat> so, we do want to finish this siege as soon as possible. So that we can... Go and crush that army. Preferably before they manage to siege anything down, and it looks like we might be able to do just that. Very nice. Well, depends. There's a chance we'll be able to do that. Okay. Very nice, so this should be a fairly easy war. Uh, that was kind of expected. Uh, more money, please. Um. <clears throat> this is a bit annoying with you know doing a um, or fighting a country who is in a civil war because unless we're at war with these guys as well we'll keep you know getting black flagged half the time but still what who are you at war with I don't know why we keep losing um, import from them, though. Okay. Well, we're just going to keep decking the cities, though. Nice.
It seems to have changed the amount of popularity you get from sieging something down unless I'm missing something because that's a lot less than five. Or it might be based on something else, I don't know. What I do know is though that we... Are, no, there, there is five popularity, okay. All right, we need to... That's not me. I keep clicking on wrong things again. Right, we are sacrificing until November. I'm tempted to stab at the moment because I think they... It seems, if, if I was looking at it correctly last time, it seems like they both sort of stack and extend. Yeah, because now it's minus 0.30. Up until the 34th. I'm going to try and remember to check... Um, in November, but in the meantime, um, let's lose some aggressive expansion. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we do need to siege this down as well. And meanwhile, we're losing every single trade route, which is, you know, amazing. That's exactly what we wanted. Where are you going now? And also, you're not doing anything. Right, so. Well, I do think the Antigonids are going to be completely wrecked. Also, we don't actually have enough to siege this down. Um, go there then and see if you can get some back for now. Meanwhile, I will take all the money. Well, we do have the capital here now, but there's not going to be that much left for, for us to take from him. Uh, that doesn't really matter. I mean, we can take the, the Greek region, I guess, because we'll probably need that for, um, well, for random purposes. Well, you we are going to go and siege down something, so there is that. So are you getting food? No, because we do not have the capital. Okay, so that one's finished. Um, you barely have any food, which is not good. You go back there for now. Okay, well, we are going to siege down a couple of more things up there at least, so. Yeah. We'll be able to take something in this war, I'm not too worried about that. <clears throat> so you should be getting some food back now, hopefully. Right, we got three things up there. And you are, of course, happily sieging down things, so there is that. <clears throat> um, you want a job. Well, you are pretty good, so... Let's see, um, let's start by checking technology. Oh yeah, you're way better here. There you go. Now give me all the money. Was that actually the correct person now? Because it looks like I took someone from here. Mm. Okay, let's put you there for now. Um, rewarding friendship. No, no, that looks like you. Okay, I'm not quite sure then. We'll just have to see. Okay, we have 
have claims on all the stuff here, so that's good. And we'll just keep sieging down those things. Are we winning this fight? I think we are. Slowly. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm happy enough. <clears throat> Food wise, uh, it is starting to look a bit grim. Well, a bit better. That's 11k though. That's not what we want to see. Okay, another 60 ducats. Um, we have lost all the tyranny at the moment. What will benefit us right now? The answer is not that much. I mean, we might as well take this because it will help us when we actually do this peace deal. And I can't conf say exactly when that's going to happen now. Okay. <sighs> okay. Um, let's grab the capital as well. I'm not quite sure how he thought he could win that, but hey ho. The oligarchs are known for looking after themselves and their friends. Blah 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 blah. Clearly Daida feels entitled to this honor by law and nepotism, and only our Archon could put her right. I mean, you are pretty crappy, but yeah, it's the oligarchs. And instead you are giving money. Very nice. Another invention. Um, pop promotion speed is quite nice. Let's get that one. That will help us with research. Also, if you could finish this siege like this very instance, that would be amazing. Meanwhile, let's grab all the money we can still muster up here. You are still um, technically independent. Well, that's not something we do care about. Nice, and let's go for that one. Ah, it is so profitable to be at war. It is incredibly great. Okay. Alright, so we have... You are... Um, a subject. Okay. Um... You kind of need to try and get food back, but I'm not entirely sure whether you'll be getting food here. Well, let's see. Meanwhile, let's grab those ducats and... Can't really get to any other city now. Well, we can down this way. And obviously I see no reason not to go down there. Are you stuck? I'm suspecting you are stuck. Yes, you are. Okay. Ah, well. Just enjoy the sights then. Nephew of the governor of... You're a friend and you're an... Okay, no one is doing anything important here, right? No. So who is the... I'm, I'm guessing Marshall. Let's just send her. Yeah, this is a bit worrying. I think I will move you up because you have no food and I don't think you'll be getting any food either. Alright, there we go. That's sorted. You barely have any food either, but... Jesus Christ, the amounts of forts here. We do need to siege down Delphi as well. Well, let's go for it. Thing is, I do kind of want the... Uh, yeah, see if we can hopefully get a quick siege there. What What now? 
Some politicians simply can't avoid consorting with the common folk. The ringleader of this rabble, however, one blah blah blah, brings an interesting deal to the table. In return for the support of many of the deplorable populists, she would demand that we close an important route to our capital, thereby providing the local people with greater control of their own affairs. Yes. Promise them bread and circuses indeed. So I mean the Antigonids are still high. So we'll see. Um, episode is getting a bit long though. So I am going to finish it here. So as always thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.